so hype. And um, my uncle, um, my uncle Al, or they know him as Bundo Calamundo. He was um, he was working with them and stuff like that. And he went on tour with DMX. I remember mm -hmm. one time, like I spoke to DMX on the phone and I freaked out. And I was like, Do you know you're DMX? I don't even know if he actually really spoke to me. I don't remember that part, but I know that he was on the phone. And I freaked and out. You got excited. I got excited. I was so young. I love DMX. What about my friends and Quasimodo? You like them? Are they influence oh, you? Quasimodo, because he, he is also another great um great album, and because oh, he had like such a weird like pitches of voices and stuff like that. Is he Asian or is he Puerto Rican? Quasimodo is a uh, it's actually a um a alter ego of this artist named Madlib, and Quasimodo only existed because he done shrooms and acid for a straight weekend and made three albums. But I thought the name was a little Asian, a little Japanese. Or mm -hmm. a... No, it, it does look Asian and all that stuff. That was just the alter ego he created while he was on Mushrooms and he made that album. He's not even, uh, he's just the alter ego. He just means lives. Means it's another person? Oh, um, oh I, don't, I don't understand. Uh, who? Means? Quasimodo is a, is a band or? No, Quasimodo is one person. He's, he's a producer slash MC. He's a, an American. He's, he's not American. From, he's not from he's not, Asia. He's not from Asia Because the name, well, I don't know. You forgive me. <laughs> uh, what about Queen and Metallica? Did they? Oh, Queen, oh my God. They, I, you like their music. I love Queen. I love Queen. I love Queen. Uh, Metallica? Freddie Mercury is amazing. Metallica, like Lars Ulrich is like the craziest drummer. Uh, System of a Down? Syst oh. Sy System of a Down was my first metal band that I actually liked. When what I type of music are they? They're metal. They're metal. Like, I've, I've I been... I think a I have an album, yeah, they're very loud. They're, yeah, but they, I can feel that. I feel like I was, I was more of a metal kid more than I was a hip hop kid. The only reason I like DMX because he also screamed and yelled. But what about Dave Matthews? You like Dave Matthews, but you like Carter? You see, that's what you see. I told you that in confidence. Okay, I didn't. I, I. But Carter is excellent. What I did know. What you like about Carter? Okay. He has a throne. His set, his drum set is like yes, this he, room. Yes, he like, sits. He sits in the throne. He's like the black Neil uh, Neil Pert. Thank you. But. What's wrong like, with him? Say, I can Eight millimeters, hipster, and home. Mm -hmm. We're gonna sample. He's gonna perform in a fake way mm -hmm. the songs, and I'm waiting for my producer to play the songs. Mm -hmm. Come on, Patrick. Yeah. Got served by a moreno with a mole and big breast. You must not be around here. What's them tats on your neck? Uh, Art over my scars helps my soul to mend. Yeah. The Bronx was too wild. They raided my spot in Brooklyn. Yeah. Hell up in Harlem. ASAP dropped my nigga Benson. Damn. Made the smoke out in A5's dungeon. Yeah. Such says for the questions I can finally function. Cop green off Thayer and I got Two Dutches, if you're getting off, then we should double dutch this. I'll like my tats with your tongue roll, R's on your garden. Love it, L and O L as the blue gal keeps flowing. Look, mama, you better do that slow. Roll that shit for me, mama. Yeah, this shit is too damn, it's just too. Bank account with three count. Look, mama. Look, mama. Bank account with three count. Yeah, mama. Bitch, trade back to the zone, cotton. Yeah, fuck, make it rain. I'm gonna make it vapor. Yeah. That's so low. That's so low. That's so Slow it down, pour it up. Keep that blue guy in my So, what is this song? This song is called Third Eye because uh, I always believe in a. Uh, the, um, this is called your uh, your Ajna. Okay. Right here. So this is like. Oh, I thought it was my forehead. Mm -hmm. Well, it is your forehead. Okay. But um, when you look into like religions like um, like uh, Buddhism and stuff like that, mm -hmm. they have like a. Whole, I like Buddhism a lot. Oh, the, the um, beats are for the Buddhism. Yeah, I like, you like it. I like it a lot. I'm I'm not gonna say I'm the perfect Buddhist. So okay. Let me just let me just make that clear. Perfect. Uh, but I try to b b practice make my religious practices as Buddhist as much as I no can. Problem. I'm capable of. And in Buddhism, there's like, there's seven levels. Mm -hmm. And that's where um, my, my team is from. We're called Slow Children. 
and it's um, slow is um, represents seven levels of wisdom and it's an acronym for that and then the children is because we're all children in the eye of God I, okay well I'm a Christian yeah I worship Christ yeah you worship Christ. well what Buddhism teaches you that you you respect all religions and like life is about perspective and like religions are they look at I look at religion as all different perspectives because I grew up Christian and there's a lot of like stuff that was in like in Christian values that I really st I value today still as a Buddhist I, I, I went to church uh, two months ago actually and I heard a great sermon I was on a uh, hundred Street between what was it Columbus Brother and Columbus in um, Amsterdam oh, Columbus. Okay. yeah it was great it was, I heard a great sermon there's like I, w I wouldn't even tell anybody to stop being like a Christian but there's other things out so there. But the third eye, <laughs> but third you eye. You are influenced by that on yeah. third eye, yeah, basically. I'm, yeah, and I'm just speaking about uh, living in Dykeman, because I, where I came from, I was from Brooklyn. I was living out in Brooklyn, and I was doing a whole bunch of crazy stuff that okay. I probably shouldn't be doing. Okay. And I, when I went to Dykeman, I just felt so relieved. I felt like I just moved to a different place. Everything is so beautiful, because I was in Brooklyn. Um, I was living in my studio, got arguments with my, my ex-girlfriend, we broke up. Uh, I was working with ASAP at one time. I didn't get my uh, my album, I didn't get one of my uh, songs cleared on the album. So I was all emotionally distressed, but then I went to Dykeman. Dykeman's this beautiful uh, place in like the Heights. Well, it's not even past the Heights, it's like Inwood technically. And I went to the Cloisters and I was just like, oh my God. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. It was so beautiful, and I feel like nobody knows about it either. Well, probably now they know about it. <laughs> and then um, I wrote this song, and um, yeah. the and like in the chords, it just was so open and freeing because I want to be free. My soul longs for it, so that's why I chose the strings, and just like just letting it just like breathe and sitting onto it. I didn't do too so, much. So, so yeah, but the, 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 the what instruments you really listen to? Because it was a beautiful rhythm. It was it's like uh, slow pace. Yeah, it's very, very slow. But at, 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 at the same time, mm -hmm. he has movement. It's like a little mid-tempo. Mm -hmm. So to make it simple, it w I just use strings um, and like a 808 beat. It's a simple 808 beat. I but love I 808 beats. Yeah. But if I was getting technical, whether the technical answer is that I used... Uh, uh, the modes I used for it was a lot of like 7th and ninth chords, which is an opening chord, and it, op and it aligns your chakras. And that's oh, why I okay. chose to sustain it at the okay. same time, because it's just trying to put you within the present. Yeah, the present. Um, I wonder, well, that was a beautiful description. Mm -hmm. I wonder if our wonderful produ producer, Patrick, will play the next song, like Producer Extraordinaire, Patrick. This is 8 millimeters. Mm -hmm. All I really want is a painless death. So my pain can end. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye, my friends. Peace out. Goodbye, my love. Or, uh, there will be no doves. Uh -uh. But Hush shots from thugs. No, no creature. Tabernacle. Return to ether. Yeah. We part it to suck your fear. Yeah. When yeah. I want to see ya. Uh -huh. The pictures ain't like hanging with you. Man, I miss you. Man, I miss you. I wanna play you my weird jazz songs. You probably think it's so wrong. But I tell you my influence. You tell me go get them, kid. Yeah. But your kid is grown up and uh -huh. grown up so fucked up. I'm tired of getting so fucked up. I'm tired of I'm detached from it. Yeah. Myself yeah. outside myself. Uh -huh. I'm astro projected. My spirit won't come back here. Uh -huh. Shit, I hope I owe me. One day I'll go to sleep and I'll just keep dreaming and dreaming and dreaming and dreaming. Home is where the heart is and my soul longs for heaven. Bless my slave master and life ain't no god in. I wanna push daisies but my climate can't support it. Wanna OD from sleeping pills but I can't afford it. 193 country, 7 continents, 4 ocean and I'm paying my mama rent. Stop like the gum in New York City sidewalk intoxicated with flows. I, I threw up in your iPod and these ugly flows. I really wanna like that. Mm. This is eight millimeters. That is that a movie? Eight millimeters. You were influenced by uh, eight millimeters. I'm I'm definitely largely influenced by movies because it's like a visual concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
Eight Millimeters is uh, basically a ballad for my grandfather. And uh, he passed away from me. And when he died, I was like a very changing moment. Cause like when he died, a little part of me died. So then I had to be a new person. Eight Millimeters, when I became, when I became, um, when I became uh, Compton Timberwolf. Because my real name is Justin Robinson. But Justin was like a whole different person. He was like an illustrator and like he used to do wild crap in the streets. But after my grandfather died, I wanted to attach myself to something that was more real. And I w was always fiddling out with music and stuff like that. But when I was drawing, I was just like, this artwork is only as good as the people who sees it. And this is not really mine. This is the people's. And like they can enjoy it with or without me. With music, I have to be there. If like if I'm gonna play it live, they need me. And like if you like if you like my music, you're liking me. People, I can like people's artwork and don't even like them. Like really. And uh, I I still to this day I really do miss my grandfather, cause like he was the only real main role model there. Like um. My father left me a long time ago, and I have the same sad story. Oh, my father left me, and I was angry and all that stuff, but I had my grandfather there. And, he, and like having a male role model around you in your life is a very important thing, and I want people to know that. And that's what 8 millimeters is about. Excellent. I got really suicidal and like artistically, too, so that also affected me. And Because um, it's hard being an artist. Cause you have constant people judging you, telling people no, and then like you're also in, in yeah, music. Yeah, but you're pure talent. Don't forget about that. Yeah. And people can see that the music by itself is a work of art. Oh, thank you so and much. And the voice is well done. It's exquisite. Mm. Uh, let's go to the next track, which is Hipster, a mm. beautiful song. <laughs> and Compton and I are gonna perform it for you. Oh, well. oh, oh, this is home. We flip some whiskey. Oh, oh, oh this is home? Street. It is home. Mm -hmm. We apologize. Yeah. I'm living in my studio. Are you featuring somebody here? Mm -mm. Is you only? Just you? me, just me. I was fucking in the ice boot, drumming in the ice boot, rapping in that ice boot, singing in that ice boot, smoking in that ice boot, sleeping in the ice boot. Time to meditate, silence in the ice boot. Voices from the shadows, hearing things in an ice boot. Private conversations with myself in the ice boot. Screaming the ice boot, bleeding the ice boot, crying the ice boot. I wanna leave the ice boot. But I'm home. Okay, this is a song, Home is Beautiful. Why the beats are so perfect? Is that they're not <laughs> too loud, they're not too small, mm -hmm. they're not too slow. What happened? What was the process? What is your thought process My creating thought? these songs? Uh, well, doing live perform I was I've been a sideman for a lot of artists like artists you know, artists you don't know. And uh, I feel like, I personally felt like sometimes that their songs were too long or they were too short. So that's why I always stuck to a story because I feel like a story is never too long or too short because you're entertained the entire time. And what basically Home is, it's a bonus track of, this, of the EP. Home is basically speaking about when the time I used to live in a studio and about the time I was in House of Yes and leaving House of Yes. Now House of Yes was this place in Brooklyn. It was like an artist community and stuff like that. It was like an artist commute. There was, um, it was basically myself and a bunch of circus performers that was like also through parties and stuff like that throughout Brooklyn and we were doing mm -hmm. the whole wild thing. And that was a beautiful,